Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to put together this awesome looking slider here. We're using the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. The Divi theme, I've just built hundreds of sites with the Divi theme. It just keeps getting better and better. As WordPress themes go, if you're building with WordPress, you need to check it out. And if you want to test drive it, I'll put a link below this video. But today we're going to be using the Divi carousel module to build this slider. And that's available via Divi gear and I'll put that link below the video also. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. And I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And by default, Divi's got hundreds of pre made layouts you can choose from, or I could have cloned the existing page. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to choose a single row. And here's the Divi Carousel module. And you have to install the plugin before this will appear in your builder. OK. Show items on desktop. I only want three. This is for responsive settings. So I only want three items to be rolling along. Tablet can have three and mobile phone can have one. I'll leave these settings for a minute. We'll go through those once I've actually added some slides here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new item. And for content, I'll just grab a bit of text. I'm going to grab this from the Divi carousel plugin site itself. Now I'm going to go down to title image and link. This is where you want it to link to. If you've got a product, if you're using WooCommerce, you can link it to there or a page or where you want to take somebody to just simply put it in there. I'm just going to put a hashtag. Have it open in the same window that will just take it up to the, the top of the page. Let's put a button in. text for the button button URL again I'll just put a hashtag because I've got no particular place for it to go image settings you can use an icon if you wish or no image but I'm going to go ahead and use an image there we go now we've I put a link in there. If you want to, you can have the image open in the light box. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Background, let's give it a background color. And we'll take the opacity down a little bit. Admin label, just so you can tell which is which. I'll just call it one. And if we go over to design, title text, I'm going to leave it as the default font. I'm going to make it white, capitalized, centralized, and a little bit bigger, I think. Something like that. Line height and spacing, I'm not going to change those at the moment. That just spreads out the letters. That just gives it more of a gap between it and the next line. Content, I'm going to make that white as well. Centralize it also. I'm not going to change anything else. The button, I'm going to use some custom styles. I'm simply going to make that white so we can see it on our background there. Okay, 
Um, don't want to use a bike, an icon. That's turned off. That's fine. Don't want any box shadow spacing. Let's give it a bit of padding to spread this all out. Button margin, I'm going to make that say 20 top and bottom. Let's perhaps give it a little bit more. And that's fine. Image padding, that's the space around the actual image itself. Don't want any at all, so I'll leave that. Content padding, let's make that 25 as well. Put the first value in, click the chain, it'll do the second one for you. Same with the left and right. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that. That's our first image. So hit the check mark. And as you can see, it's created our first image there. And I thought I put the admin label in of one. I guess I didn't. Let's clone this item. That's plenty. I'm just going to the next one. I'm just going to change out the image for its expediency. And last one. Okay, so I've got six of them in place now. Let's actually start making this slider work. So let's have a look at the slider settings. We set that before on three, which is fine. Tablet three, mobile three. Multi slide, if you check that box, when it revolves, it'll actually do all three of those images at once. So it'll move from three, first three to number four right there transition duration let's make that about say two seconds 2000 milliseconds that's the time it actually takes to make that transition center slide i'm going to leave that as it is loop means it wants to keep going round which is fine so once it finishes at the last slide it'll go to the first one again i want it to auto play i want it to pause on hover so if somebody wants to look at the writing for a bit longer they can put their mouse over it auto play speed that's how long it actually pauses for before it moves on to the next one i think that's fine 1000 do we want to have arrow navigation why not and Put the arrows outside that means they'll appear out here if not they'll appear right on the edge there as you can see dot navigation we'll have that as well you've got the little dots on the bottom dot alignment center that's fine item spacing that's the space between the items obviously if you take that down they'll get closer take it up they'll get further apart and as you can see, there's a little bit of height discrepancy between the two because some of those images aren't quite the same height. So I'm going to check the equal height box. That makes them all the same height there. Let's have a look at advanced slider settings. Now you can have the default effect, which we're going to use today. And you can also have a cover flow effect, which gives it a sort of rotating angular effect like that which for this for more items it works better so we'll do that in another day we'll have it doing this it's a great little effect but i'm not going to use that today 
So we'll just take that one back off, back to default. Okay, what I want to do is I want to put a background in, so I'm just going to check that. And I'm going to put a background in behind on this actual row. So I'm going up to the row module, click on the little cog there, hit the background, I have an image. You've got color, gradient, image, video if you want a video. I'm going to hit image, just add an image. I think that's the one I used last time. And I'm going to leave it as its default. I'm not going to use a parallax effect. You can if you want to. Cover, center is fine. No repeats, fine. I will make a blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm also going to put a color behind there. And let's put that blue, which is kind of similar blue. And you can see now when I put that background color in the content area there, I made it, I brought the opacity down, which is this slider over here. So you can still sleep, see through it a little bit there. So now that I've given it a background color of blue as well, we can go down to background image blend and mess with some of these settings. Take a look at it, it's, have a play and do what works for you. Um, you can get some great effects. That's a little too dark for me. A little too light. I'll put it on multiply there. What I'm going to do is go back to the color and take that opacity down a little bit. There we go. So we've still got the kind of blue going on there, but it's not quite not quite as dark. And if you want to, you can lighten things up. That's fine. I'm not going to play with it too long. Okay, so we're happy with that. Let's go back to our slider and just make a few adjustments and make it slide. So this time let's go to the design tab. Overlay, that's if you want to put an overlay over your images there. Let's put one on just for fun. There you see it's over your image there. Let's make it a little opaque so we can see through. Just drag that opacity down a little bit. There we go. You can see the image through it there. And let's make it so you can see the icon. There we go. You've got a white icon there. Image border, don't want a border on that. Don't want anything, don't want to do anything with our title text. So I think I'm fairly happy there. The only other thing that I might want to change is the color of our arrows there. So I've just clicked on color settings. I'm going to make that arrow color white. We won't see it because it's white on white. And let's use arrow background color as blue again. And let's take the opacity down a little bit on that as well. There we go. That's absolutely fine. I want to just adjust that background a little bit, but apart from that, I think we're ready to go with this slider. So let's do this. Let's go to the background, just tweak that background slightly. Color. We'll just make it that regular blue once again. Image itself. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's just save that. And save the whole thing. Get our little purple button here. Hit publish. If I'd already had the page published, it would have just said save there. Now when we exit the visual builder, this should start sliding.
there we have it. And as you see, I didn't update the names there, but when it that's number six right there, when it gets to six, it just goes round in a circular motion. So there you have it. That's how to build an interesting slider with a new Divi Carousel module from Divi Gear. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please share, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.